Welcome back to another market breakdown video. On today's video, we're looking at USDT, NASDAQ, German DT, and the S&P 500. You can check the links in the description below just to learn the proper way of trading, guys. And then we have a special whereby it's 500 of which is $32, of which you can join anytime. My contacts are in the description below also, and the brokers that I use, everything that I use is in the description below. And then let's start with NASDAQ. USDT, sorry about that. Let me just remove each and everything and let's start on the weekly chart. And then guys, make sure that you have subscribed, you click the, the notification bell and then you are engaging with, it, with each and everyone in the comment section just because we can continue talking in the comment section, talk about the markets, everything that has to do with the markets. And then yeah, guys, let's look at the weekly time frame. So looking at the weekly time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have this mass psychology area and then we have this high point here that we can use. And then if I draw out like a trend line from here to here, you'll see that we are pushing to the upside initially. We have this higher low here, higher high. And then we have another higher low here. And then we have a higher high here of which we expect a higher high. Or maybe we can have like equal highs here and then we sell off from there. But initially what I'm seeing is that we can look for buying opportunities. And then another thing that you can use as your catalyst is the DXY just because the DXY is pushing to the upside. So if the DXY is pushing to the upside, then it means that gold, your USDT, your NASDAQ will be buying also guys. Ne? So looking at the daily time frame, and then guys, make sure that you join the, the free Telegram channel, of which it's free, guys. And then the mentorship, as I said, is 500, or you can check the Udemy course. And then if you're not satisfied with the Udemy course or everything that I teach on that course, you can just request like a refund, of which it's still okay for you to do that, guys. Now, And then looking at the overall structures, as you can see here, we had this expanding pattern around this point. And then after getting that expanding around this area here, what you'll see is that we have, and then at the end of the video, what I'll do is that I'll show you a few tricks that you can use for you to get like sniper entries and all of that stuff. So stick up until the end, click the like button, comment if you're enjoying the, the videos that I drop. And then yeah, guys, so looking at this, we have some type of an expanding, as you can see from this point to that point. And then catering for that expanding, like I said, like on the previous videos is that this can be a value area to someone else, but not us. As you can see here, we reacted very nicely. We created this continuation pattern push to the downside and then initially push back to the upside which means the value area that we can use is at the top of the structure and then the top of the structure is always the 90 percent rule of which is this one all the time so we are looking for those selling opportunities at the top of the structure and then what you can do is that you can draw like a trend line just like this and then you can just encompass that uh, uptrend as you can see here we have like yeah, higher highs and higher lows as you can see here, you can just do this or you can just put it like this. However you feel will be okay for you whenever, if you understand like how you draw like your analysis, then it's okay. So we have this overall structure. And then as you can see here, this is a push up. This is the middle section that we're going to use to initially reach the top of the structures. And then you can just extend like the overall trend line just like this so that it can be in line with that top of the structure the touch so drawing the middle section around this point just like this so we initially expect those buying opportunities as you can see at the top of the structure also we have this first touch second touch we can initially expect the third touch for us to sell off at the top of the structure so that is what i'm looking at on usdt on the higher time frame and then looking at the four hour so on the four hour, most of the time we check for momentum and patterns within patterns. If we have like structures that need to be catered for, we just do that on the four hour time frame. So as you can see here, we also have like some type of a pattern that should be catered for, just like this. And then after that, we had like this nice push to the upside. And then at the moment, we're at this inflection point around here. As you can see, we have this first touch, second touch. And then we have to third touch. So initially, we can sell off short term, create some type of a double bottom around this area to initially buy, or we can break structures and then continue to the upside. So let's look at the 
one hour time frame for some type of entries. And let me just remove a few of these. And then we have this ascending channel around here at the top of the structure. So this can be a running channel that we can use at the top of the structure to get like those nice selling opportunities. And then I'm looking at this rejection point here on the hour. Let me check the hour time frame. So on the hour, we have like clear structures and ascending channel. But it doesn't mean that we have to wait for the overall break and then look for an entry. For example, this type of movement, like this break of structure or a break of that ascending channel. And then we look for those selling opportunities just around this point. You know, sell limit just below and then you target this as your overall target just because it's the 90% rule. And then the overall structure is to the upside. So what we can get is this type of movement whereby we sell off short term, maybe we react from this trend line here, and then we initially push back to the upside. And then this would be the trade idea that I have as my first uh, entry. And then the second entry would be having the simple break and tight flag that we always look forward to seeing when we take like our low risk entries. So let me just remove a few of these. And then this would be like the break. And then we expect the first tight flag around this point, six to eight hours, just like this. And then you place your entry a few pips above, let's say two pips above. And then your stop loss can be just below this point. And then we target the outer structures, knowing that we are looking for those short term buys just because we are at the top of the structure and then as i said we have this one two and then this can be the third touch to initially give us this type of movement whereby we create the mass psychology at the top of the structure let me just draw it uh, nicely so we create this type of movement pushing to the upside just like this then we create that mass psychology and then we have that ascending channel at the top of the structure to initially look for those nice selling opportunities just like this you sell maybe a risk entry and then you target the lows for example or the 90 percent around this area so i can just remove this ray line and then put it around this point here so these are these are all my ideas that i have like on us data and then looking at nasdaq let me remove everything so on NASDAQ, we can start on the weekly also. So on the weekly time frame, what we have is this overall descending channel also. And then if you look left, you'll see that we reacted nicely from a double bottom or a mass psychology area, which is this one. And then we created some type of a double bottom around this area, and then we initially pushed to the upside. So the overall target would be at the top of the structure, just like this then we can just further analyze it when we reach like the top of the structure. So looking at the daily time frame, what we have, we have like the same structures that we had on US data whereby we have been creating like structures within structures just like this, patterns within patterns. And then I can just cater for them. And then around this area here, we created some type of an expanding. If I leave this around here and then we can have like this expanding at the bottom of the structure, just like this. And then on the four hour time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have a trend to the upside. As you can see here, we created the lower low and then we created this high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and then we created another higher high. So of which this trend is intact and then we are pushing to the upside. Then you can just draw out like a trend line just like this. Just make sure that everything is on point and then let me draw the one at the bottom around this area here. So initially what I expect to see on NASDAQ are those buys to the upside to initially reach like the overall take profit of which it's the 90%. But what we can have is a short term sell or short term sales just because whenever we reach like this, let me just draw out like the trend lines. Whenever we reach like this point, then we can look for those short-term sales in form of a descending channel to initially push to the upside in that uh, higher low here, higher low there. So looking at the structures, we have this middle section. 
this middle section to just confirm like the ascending channel that we have just like this so we have a push to the upside corrective move here and then we have another push to the upside of which on that push to the upside we also had like some type of a convincing continuation pattern around here showing us that we can push to the upside further to just complete like the overall third touch as i said at the top of the structure then come back to create like a higher low at the bottom of the structure to initially push back to the upside so we're just following the overall structure of nasdaq around this point so let me just remove a few of these and then let's get to the hour time frame so that you can get to understand like the price action or the entries that i have on nasdaq so let's look at this point here and then we created some type of a descending channel or an expanding so we have this double bottom also so what i'm thinking is that we can create like a push to the downside and then create a clear double bottom or we can just correct to the downside up until we create this type of movement whereby we create the third touch if you rein these trend lines out and then remove this array line here we can just push to the downside create the third touch just because we have this first touch second touch and then we can expect the third touch to initially push to the upside just like that and then the entries that i'll be looking for is the one at the double bottom and then if you don't get that one then it means that we are going to take like the risk entry just below this point on the third touch our stop loss can be just below this point and then we are following the structure as you can see looking back we have the impulse corrective leg impulse corrective leg here and then we can push to the upside from there so looking at the overall trade would be at around 18 percent if you have like a tight stop or nine percent if you have like a larger stop so looking at german at on the weekly time frame refresh each and everything so looking at german at we are pushing to the upside we have higher highs and higher lows around this point you can just cater for the current market structure of which is this one here so initially what we're looking for is for german at to initially reach this point just because we have a clear push to the upside middle section and then an impulse to the upside so we can continue taking buying opportunities on german dt up until we reach like that point so throwing the middle section and then throwing out like the override is because we can have an override instead of the third touch and then throwing the 90 percent and then looking at the daily time frame we also have structure confirmations just because this is a trend to the upside as you can see here if you just push this trend line back you'll see that we are creating higher highs and higher lows reaching like the top of the structure of which initially we can take like selling opportunities on the double top or on the third touch to initially reach this point then we can further analyze german data when we reach this point to see if we are going to break structures to push to the downside to hit the 90 percent or we can just pull back to the upside continue with the buy trend so let's look at the four hour time frame so on the four hour we are pushing nicely to the upside so what i'll do is that i'll just uh, leave this one up until we create like a more evolved structure whereby we reach like the top of the structure in the right areas of which the right area would be this one let me just train this trend line out. So the right area would be reaching the top of the structure very correctively, just like this. Then initially we can have like maybe a candlestick confirmation whereby we take a risk entry at the top of the structure. We are targeting the 90% for about 14%. And then if that does not happen, then initially we will be looking for that break. And then first tight flag would be our low risk entry around this point and then we target the lows so let's look at the one hour time frame and just conclude each and everything that we have done on german at so looking at the hour time frame still the same thing that i'll be looking for just because this price action here 
is in no man's land. We can just try to manage it with like a trend line, just like this, just to make sure that we don't break structures and all of that stuff, just because we can't just break from there and then reach like the bottom of the structure in no time. So you can just cater for it like this and then just wait up until we reach like the top of the structure initially will be this one here. And then looking at the S&P 500 on the weekly time frame. So the S&P is starting to push to the upside of which we can ride this trend up until maybe this point here. And then we have this high point, we have the low point of which is this one, of which this one you'll see it like on the lower time frame of which is the daily where we created like that mass psychology activation. Then we have this descending channel around this point. Then let me just cater for it correctly. And then looking at the daily time frame, what we have is the same structures that we have seen like on the three indices that we just analyzed. We are just pushing to the upside on all of them. And then we have this trend to the upside. We are creating those higher highs and higher lows, showing us that we are pushing to the upside. So there's no need for you to look for those selling opportunities. Rather, you take buys just because you will be trading against the trend when you take like selling opportunities. So rather, you take those buys up until we reach like the top of the structure, which is this one initially. Just because we aim at the 90%. So the 90% is at the top of the structure. So looking at the four hour time frame. We have a few patterns or then patterns that should be catered for around this point. Around this point here. And then we are creating some type of a continuation pattern here in, in a form of a larger flag. As you can see here, we have like two tops and a few bottoms that we can use to draw out like a larger flag around this point so initially looking at the previous structures we have a push to the upside a corrective move of which we can just explode to the upside so what we can look forward to seeing is those buys so let's look at the hour time frame and see if like we can get like an entry so on the hour time frame what we have is that is that larger expanding pattern and then what I'm thinking is that we can use like a ray line at the bottom of the structure. And then we can have like this trend line be out a bit just because what we can get is that we have like this one here. And then we have two and then we can have like the third touch around this point in line with the double bottom. And then we can look for those risk entries like just around this point. We can have like that inflection point being tapped and then we look for those buying opportunities just because looking at the overall structures we came from an impulse now we are in this corrective phase to initially complete like those buys so let me just check so yeah even if you take a buy from this point you can just take profits around this point or you can just try to swing your positions up until like this point but knowing that the market can just react very badly or nicely at the top of the structure just because some of you can take like those short-term buys up until this point and then you take those sells and then you take those buys from here so that is it for today's video and then i'll see you on another one